Alright, hello everyone! Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. I don't remember where we left off, but I'm gonna assume that we... Uh... Additional content. I'm gonna assume we left off in the middle of something important. You can change the appearance. Oh. Okay! I can change the appearance? How? How does one do that? Are they talking about I can do it in here? What can I change the appearance to? Stage replay, appearance. Okay, change the appearance of Cliver's party members. The appearance of weapons can also be changed. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Interesting. Jill looks so freaking cool. She looks like a badass. I mean, I feel like... I don't know about his burnt black uh, thing, but yeah. Um... Gonna be honest, that's the coolest one. That's actually also really cool, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, I like that they gave us that option. I like that a lot. Um. Okay. Apparently, we were supposed to speak to her about something. I don't. I don't remember. All right, we were gonna do. A questy quest. Uh. Wow, I'm kind of like rich. Why do we have so much money? <laughs> um. I probably do want to buy potions, actually. Um. Like, just give me some potions. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Um. You're rubbing me sure. blind, you know. Do I have anything that I want to sell to you? You can have this, I guess. Else? Speaking of our flat, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tint I use Borbile tea. Mmm, duly oh, noted. Just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. I'll definitely- I'll definitely go do that. Who the hell is Otto? Oh. Wait, is that the guy that owns the tavern? Oh, it's this guy. So you're really going through with it? Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known it. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. Right, 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 right. Thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. Sylvester. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the Typical. Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. That's well, good for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like minded ne'er do wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Okay. He's making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Mm. Lucky for you. I might just know of a way. Oh, really? Yes. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane 
will see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a stylus in the morning. Let her know you're coming. But okay. You back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but <laughs> who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute, the Vale, and she's ah. a woman, if you know what I mean, a woman. Right. Blinding <laughs> <laughs> you know, over your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. She's quite the woman, huh? What does he even- what is he even insinuating? Who's this guy? Is he eavesdropping on my conversation? Reports are now available. They're compiled by the Curse Breakers. Okay! Sure! I suppose that's everything. Link locked bear. Oh, Gav, where art thou? Here you are. Thank goodness everyone's standing so close by. <laughs> I really didn't want to have to run far. In a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> are we gonna become besties? Oh my god, look at Jill's outfit! Slay. Is this all of us? Actually, God will be gone. What? Just the three of us, then. Justice for Gav? The keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, primary... I don't know why the sound is doing it. Dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. That do be true. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. <laughs> Less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. We would never not behave. Can we talk about Jill's new outfit? Like... Oh my god, Torgal. Okay. Also, I accepted a bunch of side quests, and I can't guarantee that I'll ever do any of them. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it's just the way that it is. Or I'll just do them off camera. <laughs> it depends. So, Holy side quest! And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Jesus Christ! Is this like this is what? What am I even looking at? Search for the missing item. Speak to you. Search for his assistant. I mean, my main quest is over that way. Oh, do you also have a side quest for me? <laughs> Might as well pick up more. You are correct about that. I am Sid's man. That depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. Can't get a peep out of them. Try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? Sure! Why not? Sorry. I have a That'll bunch of free time. 
Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there. Oh wow, that's breather, very like. convenient. Well, luckily for him, this is literally so close to me that I might as well do it. <laughs> Hello. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm hungry. My sister too. We're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <gasps> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Where's the tavern? Where the tavern be? Torgo, you're looking cool as hell. Has anybody told you that? Oh, he's so pretty. He's like glowing and shit. Whoa. I don't I don't know where the tavern is. I don't know. I don't know if they realize that I don't know where the tavern is. Like if I was a tavern, where would I be? Dolly is doing. Maybe the tavern is over here. I feel like we actually saw the tavern in. The... Were we in this area one time? I feel like. Uh. Why do you live in the middle of? Okay, you are not the tavern that I'm looking for. You're you're not even a tavern. Uh. That part of the map is too dark for me. I feel like maybe we were in this place before and we saw a tavern somewhere. This doesn't look like a ta- I didn't want to go down the ladder. Uh, no. Uh, well... In the process of looking for the tavern, I'm going to unintentionally... I'm somehow kind of close to... Is it below me? Ooh, goodies? Yas. Okay, well, I think the one thing is down here? Mayhaps? Oh, is this the tavern? Friend of the is no, you're not. You're not a tavern. Maybe this is the tavern? Okay, this is the tavern. Also, let me speak to this person. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. I guess what we said to the new people was oh, just a complete lie? I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. I will take you up on that. Takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Thank you. Very kind of you. I will collect this. Also, while I'm here, I'll talk to this guy. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall. The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, mm. thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. 
Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. I will... you will be the first person to know. I feel like so many people I look for, they're like, ooh, they disappeared. <laughs> They've been missing for days. <laughs> like, uh, okay. What the heck is this place? Hmm, okay. Alright, come on, Torgal, let's, uh... Jesus Christ. Where's my main- my main quest? Gotta go this way. Um... Like this way? Oh, was it actually through this door? No, because... No, because it seems like it was above me. The Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that. Oh, jeez. I don't think this was one of my quests. I think this is a different side quest. I, 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 want no trouble. I don't want trouble either, buddy. I don't even know you. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grega. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. Hmm. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do Call me that. pest control. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this will be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. Mm -hmm. If I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Sure! Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lost Wing needs those grapes. Duly noted. So duly noted. But you were not the quest that I was looking for. I'm actually trying to find where the main quest is. Which I feel like is actually above me? How do I get to the upstairs? How do I go up? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely this way. Don't worry about the side quests, they'll be fine. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? I wish we had like a mount. Um they didn't have to go so hard on the side on the on the soundtrack. I sure hope I don't get attacked in the forest. That would never happen. Do I remember how do you uh swap? Okay, that's how you do it. Do I remember how to fight? <laughs> okay, um, it appears that I remember. Oh yeah, we do have like the limit break thing now. Uh, oh wow, hi. Imagine just like absolutely missing. Uh, oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Get absolutely destroyed? Also, uh, uh, what happened to Jill? I thought she was- I thought she was with us? I thought she was in our party? Oh, what the fuck? Ow, dude. This time. Ow. 
That hurt. Okay. Admittedly, this dragon is uh, a lot tougher than I thought he would be. Oh! Staggered him though, because I'm a genius. Like, he's got some great dodging skills. Ow. Oh. Uh, just go into limit break and kill him, honestly. Ow, dude. Is he dead? Somehow he lived from that? That's crazy. Ow. Oh, that was a sick dodge. Jesus. That dude lived for so long. Like we didn't even need to go that way, okay? We didn't need to we didn't need to fight that guy. I don't know why I thought that the quest was that way. Cuz it wasn't. Are these some angry chocobos? No, they're just scared chocobos. We don't fight them if we don't have to. Uh, that's a good rule of thumb. Why fight them when I can just run? Northreach. Hello? The heck kind of animal are you? Greetings. This looks like a cool area. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think we all know what that means. That means it's time for photo mode. Oh, those are not, not nice doggos. So we're gonna like not fight them. But I will take whatever this is. Cause it does you need. speak of a brothel. And that was north of the checkpoint. Uh, I hope the dame has friends in the south. Uh fish. search for the dame. You there! Go and see a drop. The right to confiscate any object. Hello. Oh. Damn it. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to just like walk through. You say these are all from Dalmechia. Hello. Does anyone know where I can find a a lady? That's that's too general. Does anyone know where I can find a, a dame? She's perhaps well known in these parts. I don't really know. What kind of building is this? Hello. How do I how do I speak? Have you, you? No other bearers. Those two look rather Oh wait, maybe this is this is her? Apparently this is her. A moment, my lady. How did he know that that was her? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. He just walks uh, away. Mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Oh. Do you think you could please me, Clive? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You're the dame. 
Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. Okay, sure. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? I am super trustworthy. This is a known you can fact. Trust me, yes, but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. Sid do be like I've that. I've never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. How do we get inside? To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... 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 <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Oh! Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. I Wait, can't what? imagine what kind of favor you're going to expect in return. <laughs> I really can't. Clive was just so unbothered by that conversation. He was just like, girl, what? All right, let's go for it. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Okay. Madame, back to the veil already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Hmm. Oi, hold up. Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. What was the point of him saying that? Can we fight that guy later? He seems like an asshole. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. Oh. As do you and I. Now, do we? if you care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. What is the Vale, exactly? Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Is, is the Vale a brothel? Is that... What I'm understanding. Also, damn, she walked fast as fuck. I think, I think it might be. It may be, guys. It might be. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Why they all have like the same type of dresses? Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. The hell does she have on her dress? Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. <laughs> Clive is so far behind. <laughs> Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. That's a big building that you have. A 
Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. Where are my companions? The girl. You needn't worry. They have yet to reach the chest. Why? Why yes. are they so far behind? Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find some. Oh, of course you do. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I don't know. I would say I we're pretty good. Our success best. rate is 100%. And take this. Moon and stars. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Why won't you- why did we go to the Vale if she wasn't gonna be at the Vale? We got so much money from that. Also, what is with everybody in this game? Like, just never... Everybody freaking disappears. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. <laughs> colleagues? A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing, then? Apparently. If only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what our chamber can tell us then. Hello, ma'am. I don't see a pond, by the way. Oh, wait. I, yeah, I see. Okay, I see a pond. <laughs> so you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you How? I just got Mary, here. Eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She didn't mm. mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. Mm. Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. The dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. Hmm. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Where are the barracks? I don't know where the barracks are. Am I, I suppose you're am I supposed to know where the barracks are? Excuse me, you there? Uh. The markets are up Where to be the barracks though? Uh Maybe it's over that way? I don't know. I also am not sure that uh, that girl is gonna be alive. Just wanna put that out there. It's not been half the moons. I heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Brandy? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. And where's the dame's brooch? 
One word from him in the Why does that look like the guy that was from the other area? <laughs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. Mm. Moore is the last village on the route to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Ah, uh, where's Isabel? Ah, uh, Isabel? Oh, there she is. I have news to report. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Not that would explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Mm-hmm. Isn't mm -hmm, that what you want? Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report so a stealth such mission. A constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Got all the side quests. Uh, where? He said the- oh! He's way over that way. Oh, okay. So we gotta like- okay, okay. <laughs> I just wasn't zooming out far enough. Alright, goodbye everyone. I will be leaving. Sergeant's got an influx. Is this the right way? Yes, because we're gonna go this way. This looks cool. Oh, look at that castle over there. Alright, let's see. Also, what is that way over there? Wow. This is kinda cool. This is crazy. Look at Torgal, he loves it. Okay. That is the wrong way. Gotta go this way, I think? Yes. Some crazy critters over there. Okay, it's definitely this way. Howdy. The people in this town aren't nice. Hello? Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I she think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but... I'll try. Describe her to me. She's beautiful, white hair. She a horse? A when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday, but it's my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. <laughs> Is she a old? field to search? With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Is she a horse? I don't get it.
It says it's nearby. Like, do you have to ask people? Like, have you seen this horse? You and me. Shift your ass. <gasps> goody, goody, goodies. Huh. Oh, okay, okay. She's somewhere... Nope, I completely walked past it. Somewhere in these fields? Seen this child's horse or something? Fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded and an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should lack I? Lack of manners? Me? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet, Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Ah, oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. Duly noted. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Okay. Sir <laughs> Todd, you just had to talk to her. I, I didn't realize. The windmill? Oh. Is it this thing? The oh. dog? Hello. More brown than white. You are Chloe, are you, girl? Why? Is that someone napping on the job? I don't know that I that person is napping. to go home. Chloe? Oh. Uh... Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. The other... It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? Oh. Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said... Bearers don't have parents. Oh wow, this town is fucked up. Parents, they'd give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> Poor Chloe. That was some fucked up shit. I'm... I'm so sorry, Chloe. That was some really fucked up shit. Oh my god. Okay, well, at, uh... At the revelation of that really fucked up side quest... Um, I think that's gonna be the end of the episode for right now. Uh, we're kinda nearby where we need to be. 
I thought that said soup, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Um, so next episode we will head over to this, uh, shop area, apparently the dame is over there as well, maybe? Um, and talk to the guy, and I'm sure see how lovely, uh, the rest of this town is, but, yeah. Um, let's see, toggle, uh, okay, save the game. Just me and Torgle. <laughs> okay, so that is gonna be the end of the episode. I hope you guys liked it. I am hopefully gonna be catching up on editing for Final Fantasy and also as far as playing it, hopefully I'm gonna be playing some more of this so we can make more progress. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.